Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by EC Council. Module DOS DDoS Attacks Section Attack Techniques Wide range of attack tools, programs, attack techniques are used to launch DOS DDoS attacks. These are some of the techniques. Application layer flares, degradation of service attacks, DDoS attack, extortion, ICMP flooding. Let us know about each of these. Attacker compromise the system and use them to launch attacks. Issue commands to the zombie agents to facilitate the DDoS attack. UK's GCHQ has tools built for the DDoS named Predator's Face and Rolling Thunder. Application layer floods. Various DOS attacks exploit buffer overflow which can cause application server to handle unwanted traffic consuming all available memory or CPU time. Maximum number of open connections are filling the victim's disk space with logs. The main motive behind such attacks is to cause financial losses or make target less competitive. Degradation of service is a type of DOS attack where short-lived flooding on victim's application are launched. That is to slow down the service than crashing it. This is a random and not continuous attack and difficult to detect and takes longer time to troubleshoot and mitigate. The goal of DOS L2 attack is to cause a launching of defense mechanism which blocks the network segment from which the attack is originated. In case of distributed attack or the IP header modification, it will fully block the attack network from the internet but without system crash. A DDoS attack occurs when multiple systems flood the bandwidth or resources of a targeted system, usually one or more web servers. Such an attack is often the result of multiple compromised systems flooding the targeted system with traffic. A system may be compromised with the Trojan, Zombie, Botnet, root servers to launch attacks. Cyber extortion is typically begin with a low level attack and warning that a larger attack will be carried out if a ransom is not paid in Bitcoin or some other more. The attackers tend to get into an extended extortion scheme once they recognize that the target is flexible and ready to pay. DDoS attacks are aiming at financial institutions. HTTP POST attack sends a complete legitimate HTTP POST header which includes a content length field to specify the size of the message body to follow. Attacker then proceeds to send the actual message body at extremely slow rate. Due to this entire message being correct and complete, the target server will attempt to obey the content length field in the header and wait for the entire body of the message to be transmitted which can take very really long time. The attacker establishes hundreds and thousands of such slow connections making estimate connections impossible until all data has been sent. OWASP, an open source web application security project, has released a testing tool to test the security of servers against this type of attacks. ICMP flooding is the most common type of attack. A smurf attack relies on misconfigured network devices that allow packets to be sent to all computer hosts on a particular network via the broadcast address of the network rather than a specific machine. The attacker will send large number of IP packets with the source address faked to appear to be the address of the victim. The network's bandwidth is quickly used up, preventing legitimate packets from getting through to their destination. Ping flood is based on sending the victim an overwhelming number of ping packets. Ping of death is based on sending the victim a malformed ping packet, which will lead to a system crash on a vulnerable system. The Black Nurse attack is an example of attack taking advantage of required destination port unreachable ICMP packets. A NUC is an old DOS attack consisting of fragmented or invalid ICMP packets sent to the target. This is achieved by using a modified ping utility to repeatedly send this corrupt data, thus slowing down the affected computer until it comes to a complete stop. Example with NUC. Attackers have found a way to exploit number of bugs in peer-to-peer -peer servers to initiate the DOS attacks. With peer-to-peer, -peer, the attacker acts as a puppet master, instructing clients of P2P file sharing hubs 
to disconnect from their P2P network and to connect to the malicious victim website instead. PDoS, permanent DOS attack, also known as flashing. This damages the system so badly that it requires a replacement or installation of hardware. The attacker uses vulnerabilities in the victim's network devices like routers, switches, firewalls, firmware to replace with a corrupted image, making the device useless. PDoS is a pure hardware targeted attack which is much faster and requires fewer resources than using a botnet or a root server in a DOS attack. Flashdance is a tool created by the Rich Smith, an employee of HP's System Security Lab, to detect and demonstrate PDoS vulnerabilities. A DDoS attack sending forged requests to a very large number of systems that will reply to the request. Using IP address spoofing, the source address is set to that of the targeted victim. Thereby, all the replies will flood the target. ICMP echo requests are reflected attacks as flooding hosts send echo requests to the broadcast address of the misconfigured networks, thereby enticing hosts to send echo reply packets to the victim. The amplification attacks are used to magnify the bandwidth that is sent to a victim. This is done through publicly accessible DNS servers that are used to cause congestion on the target system using DNS response traffic. US assert have observed that different services implies in different amplification factors. Rudy attack targets web applications by starvation of available sessions on the web server. Rudy is much like slow lorries, keep sessions at halt using never ending post transmissions and sending arbitrarily large content length header value. Slow Loris is a type of DOS attack tool which allows a single machine to take down another machine's web server with minimal bandwidth and side effects. Shoe attack is a DOS attack on the transmission control protocol TCP. It uses short synchronized bursts of traffic to disrupt TCP connections on the same link by exploiting a weakness in TCP's retransmission timeout mechanism. A slow read attack sends legitimate application layer requests but reads responses very slowly, thus trying to exhaust the server's connection pool. It is achieved by advertising a very small number for the TCP receive window size and at the same time emptying client's TCP receive buffer slowly, which causes a very slow data flow rate. Low bandwidth DDoS attack is a form of DOS attack that uses less traffic and increases their effectiveness by aiming at a weak point in the victim's system design. The example, the attacker sends a traffic consisting of complicated requests to the system. This is more difficult to identify and it has the ability to hurt systems which are protected by flow control mechanisms. TCP SYN flooding is the most known type of attack. When a host sends flood of TCP SYN packets, it is called SYN flooding. Each packet causes the server to start a half-open connection by sending back a TCP SYN AG packet and waiting for the packet in response from the sender address. Sender will never respond and the half-open connections saturate the number of available connections the server can make. By this, the estimate requests are not responded until the attack ends. A teardrop attack involves sending mangled IP fragments with overlapping oversized payloads to the target machine. This can crash various operating systems because of a bug in their TCP fragmentation reassembly core. Server vulnerable to teardrop attacks is unable to reassemble the fragmented packets resulting in DOS attack condition. Voice over IP has made abusive origination of large numbers of telephone voice calls which are inexpensive and readily automated while permitting call origins to be misrepresented through the caller ID spoofing. Telephony DOS attack has appeared as part of various fraudulent schemes like jamming victims' lines, caller ID spoofing, ransom calls, threatening calls, SMS flooding attacks, black fax or fax loop transmissions. Thanks for watching.